Today I'm going to install this 32-inch Cozilla calendar in my kitchen. It's one of those things I didn't know I need until I installed it. It's much more than a calendar. It runs YouTube, Netflix, Disney+, TikTok. I'm going to show you how to get it installed and its features. I'm using a laser level to mark the center and the height I want. Mark four screw holes. Put down the drywall anchor. Attach the VESA mounting plate. Plug in power. There's a HDMI port, USB-C, three USB-A, Ethernet, RJ45 jack, headphone jack, and a microphone input. The back is pretty clean. Speaker grills, volume adjustments, and the on-off switch. That's it. I don't have a good solution for the cable management yet, but I would suggest you use a piece of furniture to maybe hide the power strip behind it. So only this one cable is going to be visible. Cozilla calendar is Android based, so it works pretty much the same as your smartphone or tablet. Anything that can be found in the Play Store you can install it on this device. Taking advantage of its massive 32 inch touch screen. In this video, I'm also going to show you how to create a page like this to get life more organized. Add widgets like time, weather, calendar, to-do lists. Create a family group so we can share calendar events across different members. First of all, I'd like to talk about the concept of widgets for those of you who are new to this topic. You can press and hold any components on this page and resize them, relocate them to a different location or add a new one by pulling up this drawer if you press and hold on an empty area. Uh, for In this example, I'm going to add the weather network, press and hold the widget I want. Usually there are a few uh, different sizes to pick from. Click save and I can make it bigger. So that's the weather widgets. Okay, it looks great. Um, you can also add a new page by press and hold. You can just press here, add a new page. You can add a different, maybe a larger calendar by going here and press it here, place it here. You can make a huge calendar like this if you want and click away, it will save the current layout. You can re rearrange those widgets however you want. Now let's talk about how to create a family group so we can add members to the group. Everyone can share the same events and make changes from here or from their phone. If you press toggle dock, we can get the setting icon or you can swipe up, go to the settings page, scroll all the way down, Google, kids and family, family group. I already created this account for this demo purpose only. And uh, I would encourage you to do the same actually to uh, have the dedicated email address for this device so you are not leaking your information. Invite my family. I type in my other email address. Got it. I just created a group. I received a push notification from my Gmail, accept invitation. All right, now we have two members in this group, this device and myself on the phone. Family group concept is a very powerful feature that does not require the other party to accept the invite. It will automatically appear on their phone. I'm gonna give you a quick example. It's a bit different from calendar invites. For example, if I wanna create a meal plan, double click, enter the title, pick, make sure it's family is picked, all day event. I want it from uh, the 12th to all the way to 15th by the end of the Friday. Does not repeat or you can repeat every week 
that's up to you. Note here, I did not pick add people. Or you can have the option to invite some other people who are not in the family group. But for people already in the group, I don't have to do anything here. I can change the color to banana, a yellow one. The description, you can enter whatever. Maybe a recipe or a shopping list. Click save. Now it shows up here. And tomorrow, if I switch it to month view, you can see this one spans from 12th to 15th. Go back to the home dashboard page. You can see this entry is here. Then if I go to my phone, I can see it's perfectly synced. This is the same meal plan entry. I can make changes from here. Meal plan one. Save. If I do a refresh from here, you can see meal plan one is the new title, which was updated from my phone. The Cozilla calendar can also do two-way sync with Apple iCloud calendars by using the Cozilla included app called DAVX. Add a calendar, add iCloud, continue. Here I enter the iCloud username, which is an email address. There's an app specific password, which needs to be generated from the Apple website. So Apple will generate a random password for me for this device. And you enter the username and password combination that will be able to identify this device. I have it synced up. I'll just toggle on the home calendar. There are multiple calendars in my um, Apple iCloud. Synchronize now, go back to the calendar. Calendar events from my Apple iCloud is all displayed here now. To-do widgets are a great way to keep track of things. For example, if I'm shopping for birthday gifts, some options I wanna have, I wanna write it down here. They are actually part of the Google Keep. So we have three different designs. I have the note collection and single note there. You can also have a quick capture so from here in this full blown app. If I reorder and do a swipe, I can keep creating sub list. Milk and eggs. Swipe. Exercise. 10 minutes jogging. 20 minutes weight lifting. Change the color background image. Under the collaborator option, I can invite a different person to join this to-do list. So they can also view and edit the to-do list. You can set a digital clock or some photos as screensaver to not only protect the screen, but also make this uh, beautiful canvas when uh, it's not being used. Go to the settings and search for screen saver. There's a space. Current screen saver is a clock. If you click here, you get the option to choose a photo frame or the Google Photos. My account, all photos or just portraits. Start now. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, multiple pages and widgets like this can be added by long press on the screen. Swipe up on the widget selection. Maybe I want to add a Tesla. Battery status and controls. Reposition this widget anywhere I want or resize it. Make it a little bit bigger. I'll add a few apps like YouTube, Google Assistant, Chrome browser, a mini calendar, Google TV, YouTube music, an analog clock. Yeah, I can go crazy about this. It's pretty interesting, right? There's one more feature I want to highlight that is App Pin, which allows one app to be constantly on and pinned to the screen unless you enter a password and, and uh, disable it. So you go to the security 
Make sure the screen lock is enabled. The pin is set. Go to the app pin, turn it on. There's a warning message here. Only use it for people you trust. If I want to have YouTube app always available for everyone in the house, I click this square button to expose the multi-view long press on the icon, press pin, and then this app is pinned. This keeps it in view until you unpin, touch and hold this back and overview button to unpin. Home button will not work. Nothing works except the volume control, of course. Okay, long press this button to go back to the lock screen. Enter the password to go back to the normal mode. Thanks for watching. The Cozilla calendar is a great piece of tech to have in the kitchen or living room to keep things organized. It has great integration with Google and Apple calendars. And of course, we use it for watching movies too.